D-Man here. Yep. Just telling you, I hope you like this video. I do. So let's get in. Let's do it. To the video. Let's see. Hey guys! <laughs> D-Man here, doing a another uh, review. This time it's not a movie review, it's not an anime review, it's not a cartoon review. It is a TV show review, or actually a Netflix exclusive uh, review. A Netflix exclusive review. <laughs> uh, this time we are reviewing the end of the fucking world, or the end of the bleeping world. <laughs> um, it's an eight part uh, series. We're going to review the whole series itself. Uh, and it's really, really interesting, actually. Uh, so first, I'm going to do non-spoilers, and then spoilers, and I'm going to give my opinion with non-spoilers, and then I'm going to give my opinion with spoilers, obviously. And I will rate it both times. So, okay, with non-spoilers, uh, that's going to be a little bit hard, but I'll try without with, with non-spoilers. Um... <sighs> 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 Oh, sorry about that. But anyways, with non-spoilers, um, this is very much like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of situation with these uh, two teenager kids. They're about 17 years old. And it reminds me very much of Bonnie and Clyde, to be honest. Uh, so it's really interesting to see. Um, like this girl and this guy right here. <laughs> but it's not Bonnie and Clyde, obviously. Uh, and they don't do, like, all, like, the crazy crimes and stuff that Bonnie and Clyde do. And, like, bank robbing and stuff. They don't do all that, but they do a lot of stuff that's, uh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, let me give a, let me try to say the plot without really spoiling anything. Uh, the plot is these two kids running away from home. Uh, and at the end, something bad happens. And then shenanigans ensue. <laughs> And then at the very end, something, uh, we're left to assume something bad happens at the very end. Uh, but yeah. That is at the very end. <laughs> um, so, that's about all I can say without spoiling it, really. Um, I can say that this, this whole series is pretty much kept my attention throughout the whole series. Uh, usually most series will have, like, a boring episode or two, but this whole series kept my attention throughout it. There might have been, like, one or two parts that were boring on one or two episodes. Um, but for the majority of this series, it kept my attention, so it was really nice to see that, uh, it kept my attention, obviously. Because I have... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just hyper all the time, so I, I, I can't keep attention... On something for too long, without wanting to skip it because uh, it takes too long. Unless it's something that I'm really interested in. And this, all the episodes of this, I was really interested in, so I didn't skip a thing, and I really enjoyed this. Um, and I was really glad that I didn't skip anything because it's, it's it's really good. <laughs> it's just a really good uh movie. Not movie, sorry. A really good series. A really good eight part uh, episode series. Uh, so yeah, like it drawn, it it drew me in, it kept my attention, it wasn't boring at all. It just it was just interesting. Uh, any negative things I can say without spoiling? Not really. <laughs> um, so let's get into the spoiler section first. I will rate it one to ten. One being the worst, ten being the best, five being just in between average. Um. Oh, I'm a yawny guy today, huh? I would say that this is an 8. I was thinking a 7, uh, but no, I have, to, I have to give it an 8. I have to put it up there just a little bit higher than 7. It's an 8. It's not super great. It's not like super fantastic, 10 worthy. Uh, but it's not horrible, 1 worthy. And it's not like average, 5 worthy. This is a definite watch. Um, hell, I would even probably watch this twice because that's how good it was. It was, it's a very, very interesting story and just plotline stuff. It's it's 
It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. That's all I gotta say. Um. Okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoilers. So let's get into the plot with spoiling it. Uh, this is... I, I can tell you the whole plot now. Okay, so this revolves around these two characters right here. A girl and a boy, obviously. And he is basically a psychopath, or we're led to believe that he's a psychopath at uh, first. Although, by the end, he's not a psychopath. And I will explain that in this summary right now. <laughs> so, these two characters, they have shitty lives. Except for him. I, I don't... His dad tries, but we'll get into it a little bit later. Um, so these two characters have shitty lives. Especially her, because her stepfather's a fucking douchebag. And her mother is a fucking pushover. And then at the very end, she actually starts feeling something for her daughter. But for the majority of the part, she's just like one of those wives that are just like, uh, you can be seen but not heard sort of thing. That's what she literally acts like throughout the whole series. No matter what the stepfather does to this girl, he calls her, like, he basically tells her to get the fuck out of the house and shit because no one wants her there. And the mother's just like, oh. And she saw it happen and everything. She's just like, oh, like this. Oh, and then she just walks away. Like, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk about it. Because she's a fucking cunt of a mother. She's a cunt of a mother. That's all I got to say. <laughs> If you're a mother or a father and you do something like that to your daughter, I would fucking slap you across the face as soon as I fucking saw that. Ooh, shit, dude. I'd slap you, and if you're a man, I'd punch you. <laughs> I was just saying, I just. That is fucked up. You should not do that. And he's a little bit of a creep, too. Like, uh. I don't think he. He, like, touched or anything, but he definitely gives off that vibe that if, uh. His, if the mother wasn't there, he'd probably do it. <laughs> and also, I'm pretty sure the mother is one of those mothers that'd be like, "Oh, well, I didn't see, I didn't hear it, so I don't really believe you." And even if she did see it, she'd probably just be like, "Oh, I don't know." She'd just be like one of those people that are silent about it. How fucked up is that? That's why I feel like this mother would be. She'd be silent about her own daughter getting raped right by her stepfather. I'm just saying. That's what this mother reminds me of. It doesn't happen, luckily, but if it did, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what the mother's reaction would be. She'd just be silent about it, because she's a fucking cunt. Uh, it, it really drawed me in to this story, to be honest. That's that's one of the things that really draw me into it. Um, really nice acting, actually. It's really nice acting. <laughs> um, so basically, it starts off with these two characters. <laughs> After my little tangent there, sorry. Um... This girl has a horrible life at home because her stepdad's a cunt and her mother's a fucking... Her mother's basically a wife that's seen, not heard. <laughs> uh, his father is a loving father that tried to raise him as good as he can. Um, <sighs> oh, sorry. But, I don't know, this kid just has problems. We'll get into why a little bit later. It's because his mother died. <laughs> um... So he has problems, and he kills small animals, like a psychopath. And then he, like, this girl comes out to him, he starts quote-unquote dating her, so he can murder her. So he wants to literally murder this girl, and he makes this plan to murder her over and over again, just this plan, like, oh, I'm going to murder this girl, as soon as she comes over, I'm going to murder her, because... That's just what I do. I murder people, I guess. <laughs> He's never murdered anybody, and this is going to be the first person that he ever gets to murder. <laughs> At least in his mind, that's what's going to happen. He's going to have her come over. He's going to trick her, and then he's just going to murder her, I guess. Murder, murder. <laughs> um, that doesn't end up happening, by the way. So, to make this happen, he goes along with whatever she says. And eventually she runs away from home because her douchey stepfather tells her that no one wants her there and her mother doesn't say a word. Her mother saw the whole thing. Doesn't say a word. If I was the mother, I'd slap that motherfucker in the face and I'd be like, don't you ever fucking talk to my daughter that way. Ever. Or else she can get the fuck out, you know? 
just saying, but whatever. Uh, she's a fucking bad mother. Um, so she, he says that they run away. They don't know what to do. <laughs> and they're on the road. And then they break a law by breaking into someone's house. And this guy turns out to be a fucking serial rapist. Who literally kidnaps girls, ties them up, and rapes them, and then most likely murders them, I assume. Uh, at least that's what we're led to believe. So he's like a serial rapist. Uh, that's really messed up. <laughs> um, and she almost gets raped by him, by the way. And then, that's when uh, the guy who wanted to murder her at first, he gets to murder the rapist. And that's when he realizes he's not a psychopath because he actually has human emotions, including empathy and stuff like that. Because he's actually starting to feel bad and stuff. Although he doesn't really feel bad for the for the rapist. Because who would? Like, I, I wouldn't. That guy deserved to die. Who, who fucking cares about him, right? He doesn't feel bad for her, for him. But he feels bad because she is creeped out by him now. Because he was carrying around a knife. He killed a guy in front of her. And so she's super creeped out by him. And she runs away. And he's all bummed out because he's just like, oh, fuck. Like... Oh man, I thought I was a psychopath. I thought I couldn't feel shit, but I'm feeling something. What is this? It's pain. It hurts because that girl ran away and I was starting to like her because they start to fall in love after a while. And this girl, gotta say, she's a little bit of a cunt. She brings somebody over to fuck uh, because he didn't want to fuck her at first. He's just like, no, I don't want to stop. <laughs> right? So she brings somebody over to fuck. And he was going to apologize and everything because he started to feel emotions by this point. Um, but then she brings this guy over and she's just like, oh, we're going to fuck, okay? And he's just like, oh, okay. Kind of like, this is why I'm dead to the world. I forgot because I hate people. <laughs> uh, and then he's just like, yeah, I'm still going to murder this bitch. <laughs> but then uh, she changes her mind. <laughs> and so does he because she never gets fucked by the guy. Uh, and so does he, he's like, he's like, okay, I guess I kind of like this girl. And she did change her mind and fuck someone in front of me, pretty much. Um, so he's just like, yeah, she changed her mind. And that's the point where the rapist comes home and tries to rape her, but he kills him. <laughs> right here. <laughs> uh, she's all bloody, and he just stabbed that guy in the, in the throat. <laughs> it's like, it's a really... I don't know, it's just this really cool plot plot twist sort of thing. It's really cool. Uh, so they get stabbed and stuff. Uh, here's another picture right there. That's a pretty good one. So uh, he stabs him. He kills him. They clean up the whole mess because the girl's afraid, just as afraid as he is. She runs away because she's just like, I didn't kill anybody. He killed somebody. I didn't kill nobody. So she runs away. Uh, but she realizes by the end that she shouldn't have ran away, so she went back to him, even though he's a psychopath. Uh, but not really a psychopath, because he has emotions. <laughs> and let's get into the point why he why he felt like he didn't have emotions, why he felt like he had to turn into a psychopath, and why at the end he, he finally realized his emotions. So his mother... Uh, excuse me for one second... Excuse me. <laughs> um, but his mother committed suicide in front of him by driving herself into a lake to drown. Uh, really bad shit crazy way to commit suicide. Um, but whatever. And in front of your child, no less. Like, holy shit. Who does that in front of their child? Um... And we're kind of led to believe that she was sick, but then at the end, it's just, it's never indicated if she was sick or not. I thought maybe she had, like, cancer or something like that, but it's never really clearly said. Um, so at the end, I, I think more along the line, she probably had, like, a mental sickness. Uh, obviously depression. She obviously was suffering from depression from something. But I'm pretty sure she was suffering from something else because... I don't know, maybe it was just depression, but I'm pretty sure she was probably suffering some, from some kind of mental 
sickness. I don't know what it would be, but it was something. Um, and that's why he didn't feel for so long, because his mother killed herself in front of him. And that's why he resents his father, because he didn't die instead of his mother. Because he had a lot, he had like a, a really attachment to his mother. But when she died, his life just ended. He died inside a little bit, which allowed him to kill animals and eventually try to kill a human. Uh, but that human, he fell in love with because uh, he started to feel for her like he used to feel for his mother. Uh, and it's it's kind of really, it's, it's really nice to see this character that's all depressed and stuff all the time and feels dead inside and feels like he's a psychopath. It's really nice to see him, like, open up and become, like, this romantic kind of thing. It's sort of romantic, sort of not. It's, it's just, like, this romantic buddy, like, kill thing. It's, it's, it's really nice. And this girl that was, like, angry at the world because her life sucks so much, uh, she gets to open up to him and stuff like that. Um, it's really nice to see that, too. Um, so at the end, they kill this guy. They run away from the crime scene <laughs> after they clean it up. The cops obviously find out that it's them. And then they find out that this guy was a serial rapist. Um, and they're like, they probably did it in self-defense. But I guess in England, you still get like a mandatory sentence of manslaughter. Even if you kill someone in self-defense. Uh, or at least according to this, I guess, maybe you do. I, I don't know if this was shot. I'm assuming this was shot in England, but... I guess, uh, according to this, wherever this was shot, you get, like, a mandatory sentence of manslaughter. Um, because even if it was self-defense, at least according to the cops in this. I don't know if that's true, um, but maybe it is. I'm pretty sure in most places, if you do self-defense and you accidentally kill somebody, you don't get, like, supercharged for it, but maybe you do. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to look up the law in places. <laughs> um, but I don't know. But in this, even if they did it in self-defense, they'd still get in trouble, like manslaughter, as I said. Um, which is fucked up. Because uh, it was self-defense. So that's fucked up. <laughs> um, eventually they go see her real dad. Um, uh, who seems like a really cool dude at first, okay? He seems like he loves her, and he wants to be with her and stuff like that. He seems like this really cool dude. Um, and he's he's her dad, and he's, he seems like this really cool dude. A couple things that stick out is that he's a drug dealer, though, which is bad. Um, but he's still a good dad to a certain extent. And I gotta say, this really hit home with me, man. I can feel this girl's pain, okay? Because every time, when I was a kid, my dad was a deadbeat, by the way. He's... <laughs> He's a deadbeat. Uh, he fucking, you know, abandoned us a long time ago. Um, but we did get to see him when we were kids and stuff. And every time we got to see him, he put this act on almost. Where he would act like he was like our dad and stuff. And I'm sure he did love us to a certain extent. Or does, I guess, because he's still alive. He's not dead. <laughs> um, but I guess he, he does love us to a certain extent. But not to the extent as a good father should. Um, and that's why I got the feeling from this dad automatically. Like, he, he reminded me of my dad so much. Like, he puts this act on, but then when we're not there, he just turns into a drunk and alcoholic and a drug addict. Uh, just like, you know, this guy. Except he does it right in front of his daughter. But uh, when, when my dad, uh, when we were there, he was just a drunk, alcoholic, uh, drug addict, drug addict. Half the time he didn't want to see us because he was either too drunk or he wanted to go get drugs or something like that. Um, but I will say, my dad is not as bad as her dad. <laughs> I will say that. Uh, reason is why, there's really only two reasons why. <laughs> um, I, that's, that's pretty much all I could say. There's two reasons why. I'll explain them, okay? So the first one is, let's see. Her dad, let's just go through the list of what her dad did and what my dad would do. Uh, let's see, her dad acts like he loves them and stuff like that. Um, and just acts like they, he cares about her and stuff. My dad would do that, okay. That's a plus, right? 
Um, her dad, when confronted by the ex-wife and stuff for, like, child support for the kid, for his second kid, by the way, his second kid, um, not only abandoned his second kid, but also his first kid at a bar and just runs off. Um, would my dad do that? Yes, <laughs> he would. He doesn't have a, a third kid. He only has me and my sister, at least to my knowledge. Um, he doesn't have a third kid, um, but if my mother ever hounded him for something or if anything like that, and he was there with us, uh, he'd definitely uh, just run out of there because he's a dick. Um, he would definitely do that because he can't handle the stress or some bullshit like that. Um, let's see. The third thing, uh, would my dad sell drugs? No, I don't think he would, um, because I'm pretty sure he would take too much uh, of a sample of his drug selling thing, so he'd probably get himself, uh, either his ass would be kicked or he'd get himself killed, uh, because as I said before, he has some drug problems, um, so he'd probably get himself killed. And uh, he he also, well, for the most part, he's just a drunk. He's just a drunk for the most part, but he does do quite a bit of drugs. At least he used to. I don't know if he still does. I haven't spoken to him for like, I don't know, like five years or something like that. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck he is even, man. <laughs> uh, but he used to do some drugs, but he's mostly alcoholic. So I don't think my dad would sell drugs because he'd probably end up getting his ass kicked and he probably knows that. Um, so that's a plus for my dad, right? Plus for my dad. <laughs> um, would my dad turn me into the police to get the reward um, from cops because I killed somebody or something like that? Because in this, their dad, her dad does turn them in to get the reward and then tries to turn around and says, I was just protecting you from him because I love you, darling. I'm protecting you from that crazy guy that killed the guy. I know you didn't do it. I'm just protecting you, right? And then he tries to, like, make her make her force a confession out of her, pretty much, by tricking her into saying it. It's super fucked up. And it's just like, holy, man. If you're a parent, uh, you're supposed to stick with your child to the end. But, uh, man, this dad's a scumbag, that's for sure. Um, would my dad do that to me? <laughs> if I ever murdered somebody and there was a warrant out for my arrest and there was a reward for it? Probably. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but, but uh, you know, I, I'm just saying my dad would probably do that. <laughs> uh, he'd probably... I don't know why I said sorry. I guess I'm saying sorry to myself. <laughs> but no, he'd probably, uh, he'd probably just call the cops and get me arrested. Even though her dad doing it was really stupid because her dad's a drug dealer, so I'm just saying the cops are going to come over to your house and if they find something, you're just as fucked as these two kids, but whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, my dad would probably uh, call the cops on me and get me arrested for the ward. <laughs> He'd probably do that because he's a dick. Um... There's a scene here where her dad yells at her because she says something to him and he just screams at her. Would my dad do that? No, he would not do that. So that's another point to my dad. Ha ha. <laughs> <clears throat> would my dad do that? No, he would not do that. Um, because uh, instead he would just try to make you feel bad, to be honest. Uh, my dad was like a master of guilt trips. Um, if he, if you ever did something wrong or something like that, or if he ever did something wrong, he would, he would just bullshit, bullshit, uh, bullshit straight face you and just guilt trip you until you, uh, try to let him go and stuff. He was just a master at that. I guess that's probably why I'm such a great fucking liar, right? <laughs> like, if I wanted to, I could bullshit lie someone straight in the face, uh, and just make them totally believe what I said. <laughs> I probably got that from my dad, to be honest, because he can do the same thing, and he can also guilt trip people, which I could probably do pretty easily, too. Uh, luckily, I'm not a douchebag. 
Just saying. <laughs> um, but I probably got that from my dad. <laughs> so, yeah, my dad wouldn't scream in my face or my sister's face if uh, we did say something to him like that. Uh, like what this girl said to him. He'd just probably cry and try to make us feel bad for him. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's a point for my dad. Uh, would my dad promise to take me on a trip and then never do it? Yeah. <laughs> Happened before plenty of times. Uh, like the boat trip, never does it. <laughs> um, that's enough comparing my dad and her, and her dad. As I said, there's really only two things uh, that my dad wouldn't do. So, my dad's slightly better than her dad. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, and I'm assuming he would call the cops on me, by the way. I'm assuming, I would hope he wouldn't, but I'm assuming he would, so. Um, <laughs> maybe he wouldn't, who knows. Maybe I'm lucky. <laughs> maybe I'd be lucky and my dad wouldn't try to get a reward for my arrest. <laughs> uh, but I doubt <laughs> that would happen. I'm pretty sure he'd want the reward. <laughs> uh, just laughing at my own misery. <laughs> um, but anyways, after that, the cops come. And the boy is turned 18 now, and he basically says, because he loves her, he's basically like, listen, tell the cops I kidnapped you, okay? Tell the cops I kidnapped you. I brought you on this wild road trip, and it was all my doing. I killed the guy. I did all the bad things because I'm a bad person, right? Like, I did this. I kidnapped you. Yada, 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 yada. <laughs> um, and of course the girl's just like, I know, uh, what the hell are you doing? And the guy smacks her in the face with a shotgun. Um, which is really cool to see. <laughs> it's kind of sad, though, because he's trying to do it to save her from going to jail, obviously. So he smacks her in the face with a shotgun, and he runs away. And then it fades to black with gunfire shooting at him so we we assume uh, we're left to assume that he got shot and probably killed or most likely killed although there might be a second season of this I kind of doubt there will be if there is I'll definitely watch it and I'll definitely review it um, but we assume that uh, he gets killed in the end so it's really sad ending but it's really deep and it's just a good it's a good show, man. It's a good show. It's it's a sad ending, but it's just a really good ending, and it's just like a really good show throughout. As I've said, there was only like one or two boring parts, and that was like to one or two episodes max. Uh, throughout the show, though, it, it it kept me involved. It kept me viewing it. It kept me like, it kept me interested. I should say, it was very good. Um, at the end. Uh, poor guy gets killed without getting to make love to his um, to his newly found love. He never gets to make love to her because she stops him uh, because she's still reeling from the almost getting raped thing, uh, which you can understand, obviously, like which most people can understand, I should say. <laughs> not you particularly. I don't know if you got raped or not, <laughs> uh, but most people can understand that. Uh, but yeah, man, it's kind of a sad ending because he's the one that gets blamed for it. I assume he is. And I assume if he does die, she takes, uh, she kind of takes his side, I guess. And she kind of just says he kidnapped me and stuff. Or maybe, maybe they'll go for like a Stockholm Syndrome or something like that. They'll probably be like, Oh, she has Stockholm Syndrome because she might be too stupid to say, yeah, he kidnapped me, even though he wanted her to say that. Even though this was all her all her idea in the first place, except for the murder part, that was his idea. <laughs> but it was for her, not the other guy. Um, but yeah, in the end, I'm pretty sure he dies, and she goes back home, and she probably says, uh, we get Stockholm Syndrome and stuff like that. Uh, they probably said she had Stockholm Syndrome, I should say. And the mother, uh, by the end, starts actually caring about her goddamn daughter and starts actually, like, speaking up and giving a damn about her daughter. 
but still not enough for me because the mother should have gave a damn beforehand. Especially when the stepfather said you should just leave and never come back. You do us all a favor. And she didn't say a fucking word. What a horrible mother. But by the end, she's just like, God damn it. I, I guess that makes up for it. It doesn't make up for it. It does not make up for it. You're a horrible mother. And if you're a good mother, uh, you'd fucking tell that stephusband of yours to stop being a fucking creepy pervert. And to get the fuck out, if he wants her to get out, she should get out instead. <clears throat> I'm just saying. <clears throat> Man, my throat. I'm just saying, her mother, cunt. And the poor kid's dad, man. This guy's dad. I feel so so. I feel so sorry for this guy's dad, to be honest. Like, why? Why treat your dad like that? He's just, I guess, it's because his mother killed herself in front of him and stuff, and he kind of blames his dad, probably. I can understand that, but man, this guy's dad tried his best to make this kid happy and stuff like that. Even though he was a little bit of a prick at times, uh, I could definitely see that his dad was a little bit of a prick at times. But, but for the majority of times, he was a nice dad. He was just trying to help his son and stuff like that. Even though he thought like his son was really awkward and stuff. And man, that dad's probably bawling because his son got killed. And that was his last family, man. That must suck. That must suck. Your last family gets killed. Ooh, man, your wife commits suicide and the other one gets shot down because he's a criminal. Even though he's not a criminal, he was protecting somebody. Uh, but due to that legal, legal system, he probably would have got a few years in jail or a long time in jail. I don't know. But yeah, all in all, really good show. I really enjoyed this. Uh, if there's a season two, I will watch it. Um, although I feel like this is a good enough, uh, hanger to end it on. And I feel like if there's a season two, it'd probably just be boring or something like that. Unless there was, like, maybe, like, a movie or something like that. Uh, that this shows the ending of what happens. <sighs> Excuse me. Again. <sighs> maybe there's, like, a... Like a one hour special that just shows what happens afterwards. Like did he actually die? Did she go to prison or did they say it was Stockholm Syndrome or something like that? I would enjoy seeing something like that. Uh, but for what it was, really good. As I already said, it's an 8 out of 10. Um, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, 5 being just average. It's definitely an 8. And it's definitely a movie I suggest watch. I mean not movie. I keep on saying movie. I mean series, eight episode series, I suggest watching because I, I enjoyed this and I think you guys would enjoy this as well. But anyways, that's my review on the end of the fucking world or the end of the bleeping world as the title says. <laughs> anyways, that's my review and my summary of it. I hope you liked it. I hope I didn't go on too many rambly rambles. Uh, I am a little bit tired right now because it's pretty late. Anyways, though, that's it. I hope you enjoyed If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, stay sane. A peace. Hey, guys. D-Man here. Just remind you to subscribe by clicking here. It works on mobile. Or click here to watch my last video. It also works on mobile. Just remember, subscribe and stuff. Alright, bye-bye.